morning, Willen. Mrs. Larson here, and I have another question for us today. Thank you all so much for giving me your questions. They have been so great, not only to answer, but for me really to think about and process in my brain. So I really appreciate that. And I promise if you have given me a question, I will get to it. It just takes a little time. So thank you so much for being patient. This question today comes from Avery in Mrs. Branton's class. And Avery asks, how do you stay mindful? Well, Avery, you just do. I'm just joking. <laughs> it's not always that easy. Sometimes it's easy to think we are, but we get off track. I know I get off track a lot, even though I talk about it a lot and I really like mindfulness, I do not always stay on track with it. Something that helps my brain to stay mindful is my self-talk. If I notice that I'm not being very mindful in a situation either with my words or my thoughts or my actions or my feelings, then I use my self-talk to talk to my brain and say, oh, remember, Mrs. Larson, this is not being very mindful. Let's take a few minutes to practice a mindfulness technique. And maybe it's sitting down and focusing on some things that are going really well in my day that I can be grateful for. A lot of times for me, it's taking some time away from everything just to take some deep breaths and reset my brain a little bit. Those are some ways that I like to stay mindful. Remember, it's okay if we make mistakes and we don't stay on the mindfulness train all the time. That's really hard and it takes a lot of work. We're going to get off track a little bit and that's okay. Think of some ways that you like to be mindful and that can help you bring it back when you notice that you are not being mindful in certain situations. I believe in you. I know you can do it. So give it a try.